weight-loss expert and hybrid star athlete wanting to lose four pounds in the next month ahead of going on vacation and also ahead of running my first ever race. Obviously being a little bit lighter will help me when it comes to running faster and I want to look and feel my best for when I go on vacation. So in today's video I'm going to show you everything that I eat to maximize fat loss and particularly for those of you who might be vegetarian or vegan, I do follow a plant-based diet. So I'm gonna show you how I get the most out of my calories, nutrient-dense foods, but still hit my protein targets so that I can achieve a really good amount of muscle retention and so that I can shred this body fat off in the next month. Tip number one about losing fat fast, move to Dubai where you're gonna end up melting just in general. You'll melt off all the body fat. Just kidding. The first thing that we need to do is get caffeinated. So. We are hitting up Starbucks. Hello. Can I please get um, black iced Americano, medium size with an extra shot? Thank you, sir. If your coffee is any more than 100 calories, it's not coffee, it's going to be the equivalent of a milkshake. So here we have a uh, black iced americano with an extra shot because I really don't feel like just a normal amount is enough caffeine for me and also the other thing is if you can save your calories from liquid calories like minimal milk go for the plant-based milks it's just going to be so much better when it comes to not wasting calories that you could be spending on food especially when you're hungry that's going to matter in the long run I did have a protein shake before coming to the gym, but we're training quite early. So in here, I have 40 grams of creamy rice, blueberries, and a moldy looking banana. But whilst I train, I've got my EAAs and creatine in here. And Alia behind the camera, my beautiful best friend, bought me a grape C4 because we were gonna, well, I was gonna hit legs with Alia, but my legs are so sore that I'm gonna do upper body instead, but I still need this to wake me up because the Americano this morning wasn't enough. So that is meal number one about to go down. It's finally food time. I swear we were in that gym for like four hours. It was a really solid upper body workout. I'm so glad because I've been feeling pretty fatigued with the crazy heat in Dubai, my runs recently, having to get up at like literally like 4.30 to go and run before the sun has risen. So I've been feeling pretty fatigued, but that session felt amazing. I think it was the C4. So now for my post-workout meal, have an incredible, beautiful bowl of oats. So we've got some raspberries, peanut butter drizzle, a little bit of soy yogurt, and their chocolate protein oats. So I'm very excited to dig into those. When it comes to volumizing meals, I swear, I'm a master at this. To add some volume to oats, whether it's overnight oats or whether you're cooking them like this, you want to add a little bit of protein powder. And also another thing, baking powder. Baking powder goes such a long way. Like it literally generates carbon dioxide bubbles which obviously whatever you're baking or whatever you're cooking, like, and you can do it with your oats too, it will volumize them. So it makes you feel like you've got more. The other thing is if you are someone who like misses your maybe like syrups and jams and spreads, you can find so many zero calorie or low calorie ones. So I use the flavor drops to flavor some plain yogurt. And honestly, these ones from my protein are absolutely incredible. I think I've got like four or five different flavors and you can put these in your oats even like sometimes if I have like a small bowl of cereal I'll add a little bit of the flavor drops to like some plain unsweetened almond milk um so yeah sweeteners are fine as long as you don't drink them and eat them constantly because then you'll definitely definitely be going to the toilet a little bit more often and finally just another hack which is peanut butter powder again genius a great way to save on fats you want your fats to kind of be the bare minimum that you need if you're really pushing for fat loss and the bare minimum for women is around 20 to 25 percent of your daily calorie intake the rest of your calories you really want to prioritize getting from carbs and protein protein obviously is going to retain and build your muscle tissue and then your carbs are going to be fueling your training fueling all of your movement your brain function so the fats, we just need the essential amount for hormone production. And so we can save on fats in things like peanut butter by literally using peanut butter powder as I did. And I added enough water so that it turned into a bit like a drizzle because that's how I like it. But you can even turn it into a paste. Sometimes I'll turn it into a paste 
and I'll put that like on top of rice cakes, um, which is another really easy snack where you get a good bang for your buck with the amount of protein. So it's time for me to dig in to this meal and then crack on with some work. <sighs> Just wrapped up a little bit of work off the back of a discovery call with wonderful Jodie who has committed to becoming her healthiest, most confident version of herself in 2024. She's like, oh my god, I'm finally gonna do it, I'm gonna transform. And I'm like, yes, you are. <laughs> like, no one can take away the amount of passion that I have when it comes to what we do, and just that feeling that I get when I know someone in six months' time is just gonna be unrecognizable, both internally and externally. So, yeah. Uh, just feeling very grateful for what I get to do. Uh, it's been a great day today. As you can tell, I've enjoyed it. And now I have my next meal, or my third meal of the day, which is this big ass salad to enjoy. So this is a very, very nutrient dense salad. It's got pumpkin, it's got tofu, tomatoes, cucumber, lettuce, and some vegan mints. 370 calories for this bad boy. And it's, it's 35 grams of plant-based protein actually. So this, the reason why I eat such high volume is to keep me full. Naturally, I'm on pretty low calories at this point where I'm pushing to get off what I would say is like the final four pounds of me getting to a place where I'm pretty lean. I'm relatively like toned. I've got quite a lot of definition. So it gets harder as we start to push to get those final few pounds off. We've got to be way more meticulous with the foods that we're consuming and this bad boy salad is going to allow me to do that. I'm also going to have my second carbonated beverage of the day. No more than two though, because if I have more than two, it might kind of like disrupt my digestion a little bit. I've got a little bit of a sensitive digestive tract and also it would get hella windy. Uh, so we don't want to be having too many carbonated beverages. So I'm going to tuck into this now and then shock crack on with a little bit more work until I show you guys the final meal of the day. And here we have it guys, the final meal. I also had a cup of tea in this very cute little cat themed mug that Alia brought me back from Malta. So I had a cup of tea with a little bit of almond milk, obviously tracked that. And in here we have got some soy yogurt mixed with a little bit of coconut flavored protein powder, some puffed rice cereal, some frozen cherries, and a little bit of peanut butter. So that wraps up the day of eating. In terms of final calories and macros, we have had 150 grams of carbs, 130 grams of protein, 30 grams of fat, and we're around 1400 calories. So yes, relatively low, but if we're thinking about the fact that I'm a small female, I'm around, five, three, five, three and a half. And I am also a relatively lean body composition. So having to push to get off those final few pounds, we kind of do have to dig a little bit more with regard to food and cardio. So if you have enjoyed this full day of eating and you would like to see more of them, particularly if you are vegetarian or vegan, then comment a little plant emoji or your favorite fruit or some kind of vegetable thing below so I can see that you've watched to the end of the video and that you enjoyed it and I will certainly be doing more of these particularly when it comes to the different phases I'm in whether it's for one of my um, race preps and I'm aiming to fuel myself for that or whether it's a muscle growth depending on what my goal is thank you so much for tuning in guys I really appreciate you hit the like button and I will catch you in the next video much love